Hey everyone, here is how you can easily get a top-down perspective, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, to start, we first need a creative prop. We can easily make that go into whatever folder, right-click, make a blueprint class, then we're gonna make a building prop. Call that whatever, camera, container, or whatever, I can't spell, but it doesn't matter because we're just gonna go in here. In here, I'm gonna add a camera component. I'm just gonna use this to orient myself. This isn't actually our camera. But I'm just going to compile, get out of here, bring this out. I'm just going to be using this to see whatever side the camera is facing. Go up here, create a cinematic cine camera actor. You can go back into your container and just delete this one. We don't need it. Now add a new static mesh. It's just going to be this. It's just to see the position. So if you want your top down camera, basically just make this look at your sphere. Our sphere is going to be quote unquote our player. So you can just use this to sort of orient yourself. I think this is fine. Once you get your perspective, click your cinematic camera actor. And then in your details panel, you're going to want to make sure this is selected and then right click on this, click attach to my camera container it should be this one so that's going to parent my camera to this which means when i move this around you see our camera moves along with it which is awesome that's exactly what we do. last thing before we get into the coding is we go into your content and we're going to create a new sequence i'm going to go in here create a cinematic level sequence i'm going to call this top camera or whatever go in here all you want to do is going to add a actor to sequence just add your camera I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this top camera just to distinguish it. And then in here in my track, I can add my top camera like that. You can see that's going to give you your perspective. You can change the focal length here, which will make your FOB greater, or you can zoom in if that's what you want. But I'm just going to make it, I think that's fine. Don't change anything else. You don't need to add any keyframes, no nothing. If you want to just play around with this, if not, that's fine. But just after that, just click save and we are done with that part. I'm going to be piling my camera. So just click this button to get out. Now all you gotta do is make a verse device by clicking verse, verse explorer, and then just right click here and create a new verse file. And then we make that and then we're gonna get on to the actual coding. So to start, we're gonna make an ad editable. Editable, this is so we get a reference to our camera container. Call this camera container. It's of type creative underscore prop like this. And I'm just gonna get a list of all players. Then in here in our on begin we're gonna do set players equals get play space dot get players it. like that. It's gonna give us a list of all players. Okay, so let's actually make our move to function. So I'm gonna call. I'm gonna make a new function move camera. You need to add the suspend specifier. Before we begin, we have a sponsor. Well, not a sponsor. I was having trouble getting the move to with rotations working, but I saw this person's video and his move to function worked perfectly. So we're going to be using that as the basis. So thank you. Anyway, I'm going to guide you guys through the code first. I'm going to do an if statement. So if player colon equals players of zero, we get the first player, then just get their fourth character. Fourth character colon equals player dot get fourth character. First, we need to include these two headers up here using unrealengine.com slash temporary slash spatial math and up here fortnite.com slash characters. First thing we need is our player position. So I'm going to play your position was fort character dot get transform dot translation. It's going to give us our position in world space. Also, make sure to include a colon and this should have a so get transform dot translation. Next, we need our camera position, which is our camera container. So I'm going to do camera position colon equals camera container and basically the same thing like that. So we have access to both our positions. Now we need the vector that points from our camera position to our player. So we can do player position minus camera position. So we subtract our player position mi minus our camera position. That's going to give us what's known as a directional vector. Okay, the next thing we need is our angles. So I'm gonna do angle colon equals. We only care about the angle between our left and our right. Call the arc tangent of our direction camera to player dot x and our direction camera player dot y. 
Now the arc tangent returns the angle between these two components and this returns that in radians. However, the problem is if you do this by itself, it's gonna make camera look at the side of your player. So at a 45 degree angle to combat this, we're going to subtract a 45 degree angle. Now, because this is in radians, we can't just subtract, subtract 45. We need to subtract the equivalent in radians, which is just 3.14 over 2.0. Next, we got to make our actual rotation with this angle. So we're going to do new rotation, new rotation, colon equals make rotation. It takes an axis. Now, when we apply rotations, we're sort of rotating around that axis. So we want to rotate left and right. That's going to be around the Z axis. So by default, Fortnite uses a left-handed convention, which means positive angles are gonna make us turn clockwise if we were to be looking from a top perspective as opposed to turning counterclockwise as a unit circle anyway the only thing you need to know is that we need to make a new vector which is going to be our axis vector vector three and we're going to pass in x 0, 0.0 y 0, 0.0 and our z is going to be equal to <laughs> negative 1.0 to make sure our angles are correctly turning us uh, counterclockwise and then we just pass in our angle like that now finally all we got to do is call our move to function so i'm just going to do camera container dot move to and we pass in our position which is going to be our player position and our rotation which is going to be our new rotation and then your time which i'm just going to set to 0 0.4 now to make this a bit smoother i'm going to get a result from this this move to actually returns a result if you guys didn't know i'm going to use this by calling an if statement so if result equals move underscore two underscore result dot destination reached then i'm going to recursively call this function again so move camera like that what this is doing is once this has stopped moving now we can call move camera again which is going to move it all over again and again and again and again the only thing left is to actually call our move camera function in our on begin back in uefn first first build first code of course go into your content drawer devices drag out your device mine is top camera device so drag that out now once you have that you're gonna notice your camera container is here so just look for a camera container which is this one last thing we need is a cinematic sequence device drag a cinematic sequence device and then go in here and search up for your top camera sequence which was this one the one we made at the beginning and then loop playback check that on auto play check that on we're done you can now verse build verse code and we're gonna launch session and test that out let's make our gta one whatever perspective and you can see oh my god that is a top perspective but anyway that's pretty much it i hope this was helpful and yeah